Good morning everyone, this is Darcy Blue. It's another beautiful sunny morning in the Sonoran Desert. We had a beautiful rain storm last night. There's some mist rising out of the wash and I'm just going to show you a few of the plants that are out right now. This is Devil's Claw and this is a great edible in the Sonoran Desert. You can see that claw-shaped fruit when they're very young. They're tender and you can cook them much like okra. They're delicious. It also has medicinal properties. And all around there in front of us is beeweed cleome. Beautiful green lush mesquite tree. Doesn't have any fruit today but and then ahead of us, it's cottonwood, baby cottonwood. You can see that right up there. And that white flowering plant right ahead of us, that is known as datura, jimson weed, thorn apple, uh, angel's trumpet, any number of names for this plant here. And it's beautiful. Flowers bloom at night. One of its other names is Moonflower. It's a beautiful, enchanting flower, and they smell absolutely amazing. Sweetest, most intoxicating perfume that you can imagine. This is in the Solanaceae family, so it's highly toxic not used internally for medicine but she is very beautiful and up there on the top of the wash we have a new mexican elder a mexican elder excuse me and anything else immediately around us here there's lots more plants to see, but we'll see them a little further down. And we have here a Gooding's Willow. This is a indicator species for riparian areas in the southwest. Areas where there's water, at least seasonally. This here is the Tanka Verde Wash, which you can see is pretty much dry. There's no running water, but the water is close to the surface, the groundwater. And the, I have seen this wash fill up with water and look like a lake when there's enough rain coming down in one storm or over several days, this wash will fill up. And behind that willow we have Fremont Cottonwood, Populus Fremontii, and our friend La Luna. Next to it here, a uh, Palo Verde tree. So, Cottonwood, Populus Fremontii, and Gooding's Willow, Silex Goodingii, are both very common riparian trees in the southwest. When you see those true trees, you know that there's water around, either below the surface or on the surface. Unfortunately, the water table here is dropping and so a lot of these trees are suffering and there's a lot of uh, mistletoe growing in some of these trees. Maybe we'll see some a little bit later. And then this green leafy friend here is a plant that many people love to hate. It's called Canyon Bursage, uh, Canyon Ragweed, Giant Ragweed. <laughs> it's ragweed. It's Ambrosia Ambrosoides. And it definitely does produce huge amounts of allergenic pollen, and most people find it to be very irritating. Um, this one is not in flower, and you can see just it has these beautiful green leaves. And this ragweed is one that really likes to be near the water in the riparian areas, um, or along the sides of roads where there's runoff. There's other species that grow here that grow more in the highlands and then the rocky hills, but Kenyan ragweed here, Ambrosia ambrosoides, uh, it causes allergies and 
helps the allergies. The leaves are a fantastic astringent, mild anti-inflammatory, and really pretty quickly will help to dry up secretions, weepy, itchy eyes, runny nose, that kind of stuff. And another friend we have here growing in the wash this morning. This is a tobacco, native tobacco. It's Nicotiana trigonophila. And it's not really the kind of tobacco that you would want to smoke. It's pretty rough. But it is a great medicine externally for pain. I use it infused in oil as a pain relief for sore muscles, injuries, sore joints, that sort of thing. So it's Nicotiana trigonophila. And this is really common in the washes. You can see there's much more here and it grows all the way up and down. And our friends, the cottonwoods. We have a beautiful patch of Arizona caltrop. Beautiful orange flowers. Compound pinnate leaves. A huge patch of our friend amaranth. Delicious wild edible of the summer.